The Seattle Saints are 2-0 on this young year and looking for their first 3-0 start in non-conference play in 19 years. Standing in the way, Army. It's the Saints and the Black Knights from MVP Arena in downtown Albany, New York. Hello, everyone. Alongside Connor Fenlon, I'm Kelly O'Donnell. Sienna is coming off of a dramatic come-from-behind victory against Crosstown rival Albany on Saturday. And, Connor, they'll look to keep the momentum going against an Army team that comes into this game 1-1 one and one on the young season. Yeah, this is a big game for both teams. All about seeding and where you want to get into the future of basketball. We're going to take a look at the series history between these two teams. This is the 12th all-time meeting between the Saints and the Black Knights. Though last year's matchup was the first in 31 years. Sienna went on the road last year and won at Army. A dramatic come-from-behind win in that one as well. Yeah, 23-2 second half run. Hopefully Sienna does not need that tonight. It was something similar against Albany on Saturday. Connor, let's take a look at the players for... Both teams, and we'll start with your spotlight player for our First, Jalen Rucker, Jr. out of Baltimore, Maryland. Preseason All-Patriot League. He's confident. He can score all three levels, averaging 17-5. and five. As he goes, Army goes. He's a preseason All-Patriot League player. Meanwhile, for Siena. Andrew Playtech, 6'5", graduate out of Gitterland. Hit huge, timely three Saturday to help Siena roll. Ended up finishing with 15 points. He's always under control and the leader for the Saints graduate student who played at North Carolina had some big threes in the game against the Great Danes. And let's look at the keys to the game. Army has to win a three-point line. Coming in, making ten and a half a game. It's 36 nationally. Whoever, whoever team gets hot could be the winner. Control the glass. Plus 28 in the boards for Army. And for Siena, no Albany Cup hangover. What happened on Saturday does nothing for the game today. It's going to be a smaller crowd. Siena has to be the hungrier and ready to go team. And last, establish storm more early. Only four points in the first half against you. Santa has to get him going earlier. And that takes us to the opening tip from MVP Arena in Albany, New York. Jackson Stormo will handle the tip for the Saints, opposed by Charlie Peterson, the junior from Indianapolis. And tip is controlled by Army, the Black Knights in black, Sienna in its home whites. Saints picking up Army in man-to-man. And an illegal screen will turn the ball over to Seattle. Yeah, Phil Phillips draws the assignment on Rucker, uh, Army's best player. That's exactly the matchup you'd expect. And now McCollum's going to have to have uh, Rucker on him on the other end. McCollum, the sophomore, is the reigning math player of the week. Stormer's pass for Phil Phillips is compromised, but Seattle gets it back with 15 to shoot. Hand check foul called against Rucker. Looking for starting lineup for Army. It's not a foul you're going to love if you're Army. 30 seconds in, your best player already has one 94 feet from the basket. Phillips going to work in the paint. Pull up, back of the rim, no. Peterson skying for the rebound. Benson at the controls, freshman guard from Austin, Texas. Man puts it on the floor, competes with Stormo, taken away by Johnson. Jason to the paint, the kick out from McCollum. Three ball, billets on its way, no. Peterson clear glass as we take a look at the starting five for the Saints. Billups, McCollum, Johnson, Playtech, and the graduate student Jackson Stormo from Santa Barbara, California, started his collegiate career playing for Pepperdine. Roberts working against Playtech and wins that duel. That's a great play by Roberts. Just put his head down. New Playtech was on his lead foot. Able to finish with the left hand leg. First blood for the Black Knights, McCollum, pump fake, working against Rucker, got him in the air, but his pass is picked off underneath by Peterson. Rucker had a little separation, the kick out for Roberts, passes on the three. Bobbled and now safely into the hands of Benson.
Rucker. Peterson against Stormo. It looked like pretty good defense. Stormo is in It is a foul on Jackson Stormo. Take a look at Jimmy Allen, who is in his seventh season with the Black Knights after spending the six seasons before as an assistant coach with the Army program. Yeah, it's a tough break for Santa right there. He used about 28 seconds off the shot clock and then a desperation shot by Charlie P uh, Peterson right there to able to get to the free throw line and the first foul on uh, Jackson Stormo. Peterson, who averaged six in, averages six and a half points per game, knocks down the first free throw. He goes one for two, three nothing arm. Jared Billups, the only person to attempt a field goal for Sienna in this game. He's over for two from the floor. Must be good for McCollum. <laughs> uh, you already would have fouled him four times already to uh, start this game. <laughs> Stormo spinning on the block. The kick out to McCollum. Into the lane, McCollum missed it. Move off glass and scores. The sophomore who has scored exactly 20 points in the first two games of his sophomore year campaign with an early deuce. Take a look at the head coach for the Siena Saints in his fourth season, Carmen Massarello, an 01 Siena graduate. And all he's done in three seasons with Siena, three top three finishes in the league, a couple of regular season championships. The conference championship that was awarded to Siena in the MAC championships were canceled in 2020 because of COVID. Benson, weak side rebound for Johnson. Phillips guarded by Rucker. Army in his own defense. Playtech, it's going to be an offensive foul, and Andrew Playtech can't believe it. Yeah, right there. I, I kind of agree with Playtech on that. I'm not. I, I thought he was falling before Playtech. Playtech even made the move. You see him a shot fake. Sometimes, sometimes when you fall down, you get the benefit of the doubt. I'm not sure on that one, but uh, yay, we'll live to differ. <laughs> it certainly looked like Benson was moving. Benson on the dribble, flashing free. Nets, who was checked into the game for the first time. Roberts kicks it out. Three-pointer splash. Colton Benson knocks down the triple. A 6-2 advantage for Army. Yeah, he's he, he's a shooter, so you have to be there. And he's also not one of those shooters that's only going to shoot when he's open. He will shoot with the defender in his face like he did right there, coming in averaging 13 and a half points. Feeding the big man in the post. Stormo uses his dribble, shakes two defenders, and lays it in with the left hand. Yeah, great play by Stormo. The double came. A lot of a lot of uh, love from Army on him on offense. He able to step through. Nice patience by Stormo. On the take, Roberts a bucket for Billups. The feed by Playtech, who takes it back into the corner. Johnson fouled on his move to the rim and that'll take us to our first time now breaking the action army army doubling up sienna early eight to four the winter sun it's a ticking clock where shorter days mean a precious countdown has begun so chase the sun and seize the season because when the days are at their shortest, it's on us to make them the fullest. Current eligible lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2022 Cadillac XT5 for around $4.89 per month. Visit your local Cadillac dealer today. This is a race that has no end. After every finish line, another challenge awaits. How can we continue to push innovation in a sport at the forefront of technology? This is how. Discover how Aramco and the Aston Martin Formula One team aim to meet Formula One's sustainable fuel targets. Aramco, powered by how. 
Louisiana led Army by seven with just over a minute to go, but couldn't get the stop they needed. The Black Knights scored on their final three possessions, including a Benson lay-in with about two seconds to go. Benson now has 21 points. So take a look. He goes coast to coast, lays it in, and we are in overtime. Might even might even have a little contact on that on that layup too. But ref, the refs want to see a little overtime basketball also. <laughs> Remember Colin Benson, just a freshman from Austin, Texas, averaging 13 and a half points a game through two games. A career high 21 points tonight. Including the biggest basket of his career so far. And we get bonus basketball from MVP Arena. Army controls the tip. The Black Knights picked fifth preseason in the Patriot League this year. He's going to pick sixth in the match. Rucker, who leads the team with 17 points a game, just six points in regulation. He's the only player in foul trouble. Rucker has four. Nobody else for either team has more than three. So Sienna does get a defensive stop to begin overtime. Johnson has it blocked away by Peterson. And Rucker the other way scores. Army back in front. That was great patience right there by Rucker. He knew McCollum was going to try to go for the go for the block. Was able to under control, put it right over the top of his hand. Army's first lead from 75-74. Phillips, corner three, no. Sienna unable to come with offense, uh, come up with offensive glass. Rucker, indeed by Billups, who nearly came up with it. Peterson for man. Rucker for three, fouled on the three point attempt. Fourth on Billups. Rucker coming in, shooting 80% from the free throw line. You know, we talked about it with, with a minute 15, Army started to foul, and we both looked at each other like, okay, yeah. that's a different strategy, but it ended up working out for them. Absolutely. Extended the game, got the front end miss on the one and one from Jared Billups. Executed their late game strategy to perfection. Definitely the guy at the free throw line you want if you want The first five points of overtime go to Army. It can be tough to re-engage if you had the seven-point lead with just over a minute to go and you're a little bit shell-shocked you find yourselves in overtime. Momentum certainly on the side of Army. Sienna needs a big shot. That's not it. James Johnson a bit too strong on that three-point attempt. Yeah, right now Sienna's got to get to the basket and bailing out with a lot of three-pointers to start this overtime period. She could use a defensive stop here. Rucker against McCullough. Goes through McCollum, offensive foul. And that's number five on Rucker. Which, the way Colton Benson's been playing, you don't want to lose your veteran in Rucker, but Benson's, Benson's going to hold, hold his own right now. Just wonder where Coach will go. He's got a lot of size on the bench. Falling on small. Boy, that is a big play for Javian McCollum. If that ends up being a blocking foul, then you've got an 80% free throw shooter who could extend the lead to seven. Instead, it's only a five point advantage and the leader of this Army team is on the bench with five fouls. He's gonna step up and hit a big shot for the Saints. 
Johnson spinning, wanted Playtech, couldn't find him. So Johnson will have to go up with it and score. James Johnson extending his career high to 16 points, timeout Saints. Yeah, sometimes when you can't find your own teammate, you just put it back up, and that right there was what Johnson did. Got in trouble, three seconds was counting, had to put it up, able to put it in. One timeout left for both teams. So Army in front by three with the basketball. Two minutes and 31 seconds to play. Army still shooting over 60% from the floor. 61.4%. Siena shooting better than 50%. And, you know, Connor, it's not often in college basketball you're going to shoot better than 50% and, and lose one of these teams that's likely to happen. Right, which is just crazy to think about. And the way it is, is going to overtime. So even more basketball to shoot better. And Jackson Stromo is going to be on the bench. Uh, Greg Dashnall working on him, so something ha must have happened last time out. So it's Jordan Kelly are back into the game for Siena. Michael Ely guarding Benson. Ely over Benson. Man, picked up by Johnson. Eight to shoot. Roberts goes up with a right hand bucket and one. Playtech called for putting his hip into Ethan Roberts. A chance at the three point play. How about these freshmen for Army just putting their heads down? When baskets are needed, Abel getting play tech, wrapping his arm around his waist, and one has a chance to make it a three-point play and even a six-point army lead. Unable to convert on the and one. So five-point advantage at the two-minute mark of overtime. Kelly are unable to rein it in. The pass was tipped. And that propelled it just outside the reach of Kellier. McCollum's sixth turnover of the game. Army by five with a minute 50 to play. Yeah, and just of note, Stormo and Billups both on the bench. Stormo missed Sue's first game of the season with a back injury. Benson the spin, dishing to the wide open Peterson who throws it down. And Peterson hobbling a bit as he crosses midcourt. Might be an ankle playing through it. McCullum the drive, the kick to Ely. Saints down by seven. Need a basket, a minute 20 to go. Step back three, rattles out. Rebound to the Black Knights. And an official's timeout for Peterson, who was able to play out that possession, but we saw he was a little bit compromised trying to make it down the floor, and so he's now going to have to sub out. And Nolan Nass will come in. Which ends up working out for Sienna because now they can set up the out of bounds press. Yeah. for Johnson if he can keep it in play and he does and then the kick out to Kellier is denied by the backboard Army looking to run here's Mann unable to convert so Army electing not to take time off of the clock which works out in Sienna's favor but they need a basket on this trip down seven under a minute to go McCullum hanging and scoring Five-point lead, and Johnson will give the foul, putting man at the free throw line. Excuse me, putting Benson at the free throw line. Just right, right there. McCollum knew the basket was needed, under contact, put it up. Now that gives him over, or it gives him now 19 points. But hey, great play by the by the sophomore. No, no, he no, a basket was quick needed, and that's exactly what he did. Oh, 
just on this short season. Not a lot of stats, but Benson 100% from the free throw line. McCullum now a 21 point. So three games this season, all three games. McCullum's at the 20 point mark. Benson misses and gets his own rebound. He gifted the possession to the Saints, but they couldn't come up with the rebound. Tough break for Sienna. No one, no one box out the shooter. He's able to get his own rebound. And how about how about him missing that missing that last free throw? So he passed it quickly to Ethan Roberts because he didn't want to shoot it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last one and one. Sienna hoping they'll get another opportunity at a front end miss. They will not. Benson and Roberts, the two freshmen, both at 20 points. 20 for Roberts, 21 for Benson. He misses the second six-point game, 35 seconds. Play Tech spots up for three. He got it! A one-possession game with 28.6 seconds to play. That was a great play right there. Had Playtech set set the handoff and then had a flare screen. Came back for him. Kellier set it downstream for him. Wide open. Timely, timely three over and over. Now Santa can set up a press. The, thing, the good thing about what Coach Bum can do here is you know you're going to foul, so you're setting up your offensive play when you get the ball back. 15 points for Playtech on five of seven from the outside. Five players in double figure scoring for the Saints, and Stormo has eight. But typically, that would be more than enough offense, you would think. Not against this Army Black Knights team tonight that has 92 points, shooting 62% from the field, and the two freshmen, Benson and Roberts, combining for 41 points. Remember, Army's top player, Jalen Rucker, fouled out early in overtime. So, Sienna will go for the steal. And if they can't come up with it, expect a very quick foul. Sienna not putting a player on the inbounder. It is into Benson. Back to Cross, who's fouled. Cross coming off the bench. He hasn't played a lot in the second half. Has to because of foul trouble for uh, obviously Rucker fouling out and Peterson unable to go due to injury. Cross has four points in this game. This is his first free throw attempt. It's good. Four point on the advantage, 25 seconds to go. Cross, the junior from Leesburg, Virginia, makes a pair. Sienna down by five, approaching 20 seconds. McCullough for three. Short rebound to Army. He had a, he had a foul. Taking too much time. An extra six seconds comes off the clock. It's only a five-point game, a two-possession game, a couple of missed free throws. You can get two more quality shots out of it, but it's a lot harder now at 12 seconds than it would have been at 18 seconds. You just... And, and you have to, you don't, you can't really worry about if you have, if you have four fouls or not. You, you got to foul right away. It doesn't, right. it doesn't matter what, what's going on. And six seconds is six seconds. And a chance to make it a three possession game if he can hit both, and that likely would put it out of Sienna's reach. But life for the Saints, they've got a heartbeat after Benson missed on the first. Yeah, for how well he's playing, he's missed some big time free throws here late. Missed them both. 
Kelly slipped a little bit. A two will do, and they get it, because now it is a one-possession game. There's the quick foul, so still a chance for the Saints, though likely they're only going to get one more shot off, so it's going to require a couple of missed free throws here. No timeouts for Siena. 4.9 seconds. The freshman, Ethan Roberts, at the free throw line can likely seal it with one of two. And there it is. The lead is back to five. Playtech will have to get it up quickly. He'll use Ely at the buzzer. It's good. Sienna scores 94 points, but the Saints come up two points short. Army, a 96-point outburst on 62% shooting to deliver Sienna its first loss of the season. An incredibly entertaining game from MVP Arena. The Black Knights finish on top to improve to two and one on the season, defeating Siena 96 to 94 in overtime. We're going to step aside. We'll be back with Army head coach Jimmy Allen after the break. Progress is a race that has no end. After every finish line, another challenge awaits. How can we continue to push innovation in a sport at the forefront of technology? This is how. Discover how Aramco and the Aston Martin Formula One team aim to meet Formula One's sustainable fuel targets. Aramco, powered by how. Are you ready for football to get down to the nitty gritty? Or whatever this is? Are you making plans for football? Flying for football? Flexing for football? And brushing up on your Spanish for football? Tu defensa es basura. Es lo... Are you standing up, breaking down, and staying hyped for football? Good. Then you're ready. True story. This early season banger isn't just a battle of all Americans. These guys know how to play. It's between two of the best teams in the land. Experience, number four, Kentucky, number two, Gonzaga. Sunday at 7.30 on ESPN. Army knocks off Sienna 96 to 94 in overtime as we take a look at the play of the game. Brought to you by American National Insurance. It's the Villains up and under 4-2 with the American National Insurance play of the game after the ball was saved from going out of bounds by Javian McCullough. That was the play of the game, but right now the man of the moment is Army head. Jimmy Allen, congratulations on the victory. <laughs> Wild game. Down by yeah. seven, just over a minute to go. Talk me through your end game strategy. You decided to foul a little bit early and yeah. it seemed to work out. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we we wanted to get some extra possessions yeah. there. And, and uh, you know, we we only had one timeout. So I, I just felt like we, you know, we'll see what happens. And then, obviously, we, we made a three. Yeah. Um, we got them to miss a shot there. And, and I thought our guys really executed, especially without the timeout. You know, I, I thought we did a great job. Our guys did a great job of, of uh, you know, executing what we called kind of on the fly. Uh -huh. And and a lot of times, I mean, coaches, we, we all call great. <laughs> everyone thinks we call great stuff, or at least we think we call great stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> but usually it doesn't ever it doesn't work, out work out the way out. we call it. Right. Which is pretty much how that last minute went. Yeah. Our guys made plays. They continued to make plays. They continued to fight. And, I mean, we just try to preach, keep keep fighting, keep fighting. You hope that's what West Point guys do, and they certainly did tonight. In a game like tonight where, where Jalen Rucker maybe doesn't have his best stuff, then he fouls out early and overtime. Yeah. But how about your freshman in Benson and Roberts, both 
with going over 20 points. Yeah, I mean, those guys were pretty special tonight, and I mean, we knew they could really score the basketball. Yeah. Um, and, and both of them have had good games in our in our first two games. Um, and we knew we were going to have our hands full. I mean, just the way that game played out, it was hard for us to stop them. I thought our guys made some plays offensively. We just wanted to fight and try and keep them, you know, away from the basket as much as we could. But, um, I mean, it was an amazing basketball game. I thought yeah. both teams played incredible basketball. And, I mean, a lot of guys made shots. I don't know how many how many threes you know were made but i know sienna made made a bunch um and and guys that that needed to make them for them stepped up and made those shots you put on a show for sure and then finally what does this mean for you guys getting a win like this in this environment the way you did it in, in early in non-conference play? well I, I mean we have so much respect for sienna and how good they are and how good i think this basketball team for them can be and we knew this was going to be a tough test for for us coming yep. into it and we're excited about our team and i mean we've got a a, a slate of uh, non-conference games here starting with this one that that we knew was going to really test us yep. and um and so it feels really good we go on the road for two this weekend and then um have a pretty cool trip to london yep. next week which will be which will be awesome for us so i mean getting getting started on this road trip with a win is uh is, is yeah. pretty big <laughs> <laughs> absolutely well congratulations yeah. approved the two and one on the season have fun in london thanks very much absolutely. appreciate it jimmy allen yeah. head coach thanks. of army <laughs> Absolutely. So final score, 96 to 94, as we take a look at the final stats of tonight's game. Army shooting 62% from the field. Absolutely lights out. Sienna, not bad either, 54%, but coming up two points short from the outside as well. Both teams approaching 50% from deep. And again, for Sienna, it was Javian McCollum, who goes over 20 points for the third time in three games this season. But for Army, it was the freshman Benson and Roberts who were outstanding, 43 points between them. Well, that will wrap things up for us from MVP Arena in Albany, New York. Sienna suffers its first loss of the season, while Army improves to 2-1 on the back of a 96-94 victory in overtime. For Connor Fenlon, I'm Kelly O'Donnell and our entire crew. So long for now. is a race that has no end.